Okay, so, so so now we're at the point you're recording with your homie, he's still at the crib, you you signed this deal. Um, it's kind of building for you though. Momentum's building, this and third. Who are you meeting? What's happening? And what, what what happens next? I mean, shit, I was everywhere. Well, Smoke Perp, bro, had so much motion, and that's who was like, who like he was like kind of put me under his wing and was bringing me around to everything. Like we was coming. I remember Fashion Week in 2018. Like this is like at this time I'm like yeah I got like I got my like little fan base and I got my emotion and I only dropped at this time I might have dropped my second song which was Booth Pack and that shit uh, we dropped it on World Star and that shit was lit too but at this time like we didn't I didn't really have like a lot of fans or like I wasn't super known so I was just around and all the, like in these rooms and I'm meeting like just all these different people and I'm kind of watching outside looking in like it wasn't really my turn yet. So early, early 2018, it was kind of like, that was like the whole thing. Like I was just like in the motion, living like a s superstar, but I wasn't really there yet. And me and Cole ended up linking up and then shit was, that's when it really. And now we're talking about what song? Notice, which is okay. my third song. So, so Notice drops. Um, when that drops, how quickly do you realize things for you have changed? Uh, I mean, it's so hard to tell. I feel like when you're, like, living it and, like, it's hard to, I mean, like, a jump like that. So, like, okay, I, I would say it like this. Like, you notice, like, the jumps, like, a jump like that. Like, okay, kind of got motion. These two songs hit, and we got, like, a few million views. And then me and Cole dropped, and this shit did a million in a day. The last, the first, the two songs ago, we did a million in a month, and now this shit's doing a million in a day. So, mm. Seeing something like that, and then I was uh, uh, the same day it dropped. Uh, Juice World R.I.P. Um, I went on. He, he had his first tour, and I uh, he brought me on it. And the first stop was in Seattle, hometown. The shit just dropped. Why did he bring you on tour? Huh? Like why, why did he bring you out? Oh well, I was co I was uh, just opening up for him on okay. the tour. So like we went on the whole tour with him. I think Corday was on tour with him, and a few other people. But not just. Just relationships, just, you know, just, but, yeah, so seeing that, everybody singing the song, like, first day it's out, like, that's, that was a different feeling. I, I never felt that until that moment. So, the shift is, the shift is crazy, but that shift kind of happens a few times in someone's career, like, and it could happen over, and it really happens over and over again, but I feel like once you get to a certain level, like, it kind of just feels the same. You can't really tell the difference too much. You start getting used to it. How influential do you think Cole is in terms of, um... A lot of artists like you, mm -hmm. like in shaping your career, because I think that era is defined by by him having an impact and an imprint on all of those, you know, artists who really went like it, it, it just felt like they went from Earth to the moon really quickly. Yeah, yeah. Right. No, that's how it was happening with, with Lyrical Lemonade. Like you got a Lyrical Lemonade video, your career has changed forever. Like that's like Cole is doing that for a lot of people. Like, well, now I, I don't want to incorrectly mess up the timeline, but who are the first people who helped build Cole's platform? Um, I mean, there was a few, but I think Nimir was Dex, Nimir one of them. Famous Dex, oh, famous Dex. Yeah, he was like really like the pioneer for that shit. Like, okay, okay, that was like the first ever. That was I forget what what year that was, but that was like the first Cole Bennett video I ever watched. Was Might have been like uh, 15, 16? It was, yeah, maybe 2016, maybe 2015, yeah. Yo, you know what's so crazy, dog? Like, how old are you? 22. Bro, we're talking about 10 years ago and you're fucking 22, my nigga. Yeah. <laughs> like, do, 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 you, do you realize that, like, you know, 2016, which a lot of people believe is a golden era mm -hmm. for new youthful music, we're pretty much at like the nine year mark, which is like, it's almost like, like in two years, it's going to be like, yo, all right, let's do a decade set celebration. Like mm -hmm. that's crazy. And yeah, all yeah, of those yeah. are still super young, mm -hmm. right? We're not talking about people who are like, yo, like in their forties and fifties, like these guys are like not even 30 yet. That's yeah, crazy. Yeah. Okay. All right. So, all right. You're, 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 you get the cold bed of video. Shit's going crazy. Notice is going up. Um, are you booked at Rolling Loud yet? I think Rolling Loud is also a good barometer for like a lot yeah, of yeah. artists at that time. So my first Rolling Loud, I think, was 
at the end of 2018 in okay. LA. I think that was my first or or yeah, yeah. But uh, my first one allowed I actually might have been in Miami, but I wasn't actually on the on the on the uh the the lineup Perp brought me out. You came out with Perp. Okay, yeah, okay. He brought who, me out who, this one. What's the difference in how you're feeling? All right, you because I, there's always, you know, there was a time that um I, I don't want to you know incorrectly put any artist certain place, but I, I, I don't know if it's little baby or something like that. But before he's little baby, he mm -hmm. he shows up on somebody else's bill, and then when he is now he shows up on his own. So it's the same with you. Like you show up with Perp first, mm -hmm. and then you show up and yo, this is your slot. What's the difference in feeling when you pull up that second time? You got a song, you know, people going to rock with, mm -hmm. and you're actually booked. I mean, it's it's way better that way, honestly. Like, but when you get an opportunity like that from Perp, always grateful for that because that's like they're putting me in front of however fifty thousand people, however many people I want out. It's crazy, but when the people, when the fans are there for you and yeah, they yeah. know who you are, it's, it's different. Like, it's not just people looking like, who is this guy? Like seeing your name on the flyer, like, got to do something, right? Yeah. Yeah. Once you, yeah. Yeah. That first, like mm -hmm. touching also seeing it back afterwards. Cause like when you're in the shit, like it's just like, it's so much going on. It's kind of doesn't feel like it feels like a dream or something. Cause it's just like so much going on, especially like the first time doing it, like but seeing it after it's, it's, I, I, I feel like as we're talking here, all of this shit happened in a blur for you. Mm -hmm. And like, we're trying to slow time down while, while you were in that moment, you were just living thing after thing. Yeah. You didn't really get a time. You didn't get a chance to like, <sighs> okay, let me yeah. process what just happened. Like, fuck. I just like, I'm a part of this history. Like, yo, yo, juice really brought me out. Like I'm forever attached to being, I'm one of those artists that, that had that lyrical lemonade video that went a million a week that went so crazy. Now I'm in a, mm -hmm. right. Like, did you, did you ever like take a moment to like reflect? Because I, a lot of shit turns into a blur, right? Like, especially when, when, when you're just going through the motions, Yeah, yeah. No, think about it a, a month, yo, you're in Seattle in a month, you're motherfucking in LA, yeah, yeah. you get a deal, you're getting money, your homies are with you, you buying everybody everything. Mm -hmm. Now, like, you you're keep working, you keep dropping music, another song comes out, Lyrical Lemonade video, you're then at Rolling Loud, now you got your own set. Like, you're not really, like, taking a second to, like, really soak this shit in. You're just going through the motions, eh? Nah, and it's happening so fast. Yeah, like, like, that one month goes by so fast. So, like, as these songs are coming out, this shit's just going. Like, I don't even realize it. Like, even thinking back, like, I can really only remember certain parts. Like, it's just so, it goes so fast. Like, the whole year went by so fast. Like, I mean, still to this day, like, there's just so much going on. It's, like, it's hard to really sit back and take the time to really even think about it. Like, but there has been, back then I didn't, but now that I'm older and, like, I'm, like, kind of, like, realizing, like, how much time I really have left. Like, I'm thinking, like, all the shit that happened in that past, like, in such a small window is crazy, like. It's definitely a blur. 